Hey, Mike here. So let's continue off from where we last left yesterday. We just finished installing all of these models. We have three separate models that we will be testing out. The first one that we're testing today is the smallest of all three. It's just a 1.7 billion parameter model called Stable LM2. And this is using the Zephyr preset structure so make sure that uh, we have that selected actually we're not going to have that loaded in here what we're going to do because of course we want to do this testing through obsidian is we will head on over to this little double arrow here and in this the local inference server here we're going to want to click stable lm2 and let that load up it should load relatively quickly especially if you have a decent amount of ram 16 gigs in my case once it is loaded in make sure that you have the zephyr prompt selected i have to set it at 4096 tokens because that is the maximum length that stable lm2 supports so Let's make sure that we have that set correctly. And now we can reload to apply changes. Again, the setup here is quite straightforward. If you don't know how we got these models here in the first place, make sure you watch yesterday's video on the downloading process. So anyway, once you have this loaded and you have your local inference server, set everything to on and make sure that your port is something that is unused. In my case, 1234 is never used. Start the server. Anything that you see over here, it's not really important. This is if you were making a separate program that isn't interfacing with Obsidian directly. From there, we're going to take this second. There's going to be three URLs that you will see here. You are wanting this one, the one in the middle here. So make sure you copy this. I'm going to do command C on my keyboard. So I copy it and let's head on over to Obsidian. The next thing you're going to do is hop into Obsidian, of course, and do command comma. That will bring up your settings. Head on over to the community plugins, click browse and type in text generator. And then it should pop up with this. Click it. Make sure that you install it and such. I'm not really going to update it because um, recently there have been a few breaking changes when it comes to text generator and I don't want to risk it while I'm making this video right now, but I will update it relatively soon. Anyway, that's a different matter. Make sure you have it installed. Make sure you enable it, of course, and then head back over to your main settings. Head on all the way down to text generator here into the text generator settings, of course. And then here you should have this LLM provider setting. So make sure you click it, make sure that you have custom selected here and remove everything that's within this endpoint. Maybe it's going to be empty for you, but now this is where you will paste in what you copied from LM Studio. So just hit command V or control V if you are on Windows. And here you can see the entire link that I copied over. Within this little headers section here, all you're going to do is under authorization, you're going to put bearer not needed. Now I'm going to have all of these, whoops, I'm going to have all of these code pieces. They should be filled out for you automatically, by the way. But just in case, I'm going to have all of these code pieces within the Obsidian LLM testing GitHub repo. So you can head on over there to check that out, copy it over, make sure that you have the same settings that I have. And yeah, so from here, let's continue. Another thing that you will want to have is Make sure actually let's do it easier so just click text generator and here you're just going to type in the word modal and once you type that in it will filter out the settings and you'll have modal suggest so make sure that you have both of these enabled now if you want to follow along with the testing you will need one specific script from my obsidian templates here so head on over to my github again all of this is going to be in the links in the description and you will head over to the text generator slash prompts. Make sure you click on text gen and you will find genrelations.md. So click that. Make sure that you click this little icon it says copy raw file. You'll click it. It will copy all of this, the raw code, of course, because, you know, that's not what it looks like. This is what it truly looks like. So, yeah, copy this and head on back to your Obsidian. And so personally, I have all of my, let's see here. I think it's in advanced settings. Yeah, so you will head into your advanced settings and the prompt templates path. I have it set to where all of my prompt templates are. So just make sure that you put this within wherever you have it designated here. Let me show you where mine is. So mine is in three templates, text generator, and then the prompt section here. 
So you can already see it right here, gen relations. And this is my entire script for this. And you will see how we utilize this in just a moment. By now, we should have everything fully set up. So to test that, let's just do a simple text generation. So let's ask a simple question such as, what is an LLM? And now if we do our little command palette hotkey here, command P, and if we type in generate text, as you can see here, I have it hotkeyed, but I'm just showing you which command we're about to use. Let's click it and it should say processing here. If we head into our, you can see it's already processing everything. But if we head into our, where is it, LM Studio here, you can see within the local inference server everything that is going on when it comes to the LLM server itself. So you can see within our content right here, here is our question that we just had within the Obsidian notes. And now all of this happened. So it streamed the response. It told you when the first token was generated. And now it's also told us that it's finished streaming the response. So if we go back into Obsidian, we should see that everything is now complete. This is the answer that our local, offline, fully secure, fully personal model, all of the buzzwords, all of the keywords, <laughs> um, our local LLM has fully generated all of this on its own. So let's see how accurate it truly is here. An LLM or large language model refers to a type of artificial intelligence model that can understand and generate human-like language. These models are designed to process large amounts of text data in order to learn patterns, make predictions, and answer questions. This is correct. So I'm going to also suppose that everything else here is correct as well. Yes, yeah, it mentions GPT-3, Tacotron. I've never heard of that. Is that a real thing? Tacotron 5? Is that actually a thing? There's Tacotron 2. I don't know about Tacotron 5, but yeah, it is an inference model supposedly here. Anyway, let's not uh, get too distracted here. As you can see, the answer is pretty good. But most importantly, we see that our setup is now working. So we can now continue with the LLM test itself. Now keep in mind, for now, all of this is pretty manual when it comes to the testing procedure. I do want to set up a pretty simple Python script that will go through each of these one by one and post the results all into a text file, which then it will send that to something such as GPT-4 and then analyze those results. Since of course, GPT-4 is our 100% benchmark, since that's the bleeding edge of this type of technology. But anyway, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I do want to get right into the testing as soon as possible so we can truly figure out which of these models is most effective for our day-to-day tasks. Now that we're all done with setup, we've checked that everything is working, we are ready to start grading these LLMs one by one. In tomorrow's video, we'll find out who the top contenders are when it comes to local offline LLMs for our own Obsidian Vaults, our second brain commanders. As always, thank you so much for watching. A special thank you to all of my patrons, both on Patreon and on YouTube. Remember, ask away anything related to productivity, note-taking, artificial intelligence, and of course, Obsidian, and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.